As people, we're challenged. We like to be challenged, right? Whether it's the task of getting out of bed in the morning to go to our dead end minimum wage jobs, just to struggle to make ends meet and put food on the table, or to play video games, specifically fighting games, games such as Getting Over It, where the whole premise of the game is to make the player rage. This happens through janky crap mechanics and also a lack of a checkpoint system that can basically reset a person's progress if you screw up even once. So how hard are these games exactly and how long do they take to beat? I'm glad you didn't ask. I already took on Getting Over It, which took me roughly eight hours to beat, and after looking on reliable websites online for what the average of the game is, I think I did pretty all right. Every game has their own challenge, right? Every game has their own quirk, their own niche. And I want to go and beat as many of them as I possibly could without getting thrown into a mental asylum. That means for literally no reason at all, we're doing Pogo Stuck next. Pogo Stuck, for anyone who's had a fulfilling life up until this point, is a game where basically you're playing a little guy on a pogo stick that bounces around and your whole goal is to direct this little man to the top of the map where the finish line is. But before we focus on that, we need a motive, right? Something that can push us through the hard times and kind of help us finish the game, right? Why a motive? Uh, I don't know, every successful killer's had one, so they're doing something right. But we gotta find out what kind of motivation works, right? Ooh, maybe what we could do is reward us for reaching checkpoint. I told Chad I would shave my head. So I started my Pogo Suck journey on February 21st. Is it not the end of May? Why, why the fuck are we doing this now? What? I got lazy as hell and my Premiere Pro kept crashing. Look, I'm here now, I think that's all that really matters, right? But going back to it, I challenged myself to beat the game by the end of the month or I would shave my head. And I felt like shaving my head was like a good motivator because who the hell wants to shave their head? I like my hair and I kind of want to keep it and honestly, I thought it'd be a good motivator. I thought it would work pretty well. There was one small issue, however, a tiny little oversight on my part. You see, every normal month ends on either a 30th or a 31st, right? Now, I started this in February, right? Which doesn't end on a 30th or a 31st. And it doesn't even end on the 29th, unless it's a leap year. And guess what? It's not a leap year. That gives me one week to finish this game and save my hair. Oh no, we get a week. A week from today. I get a week to beat. Are you kidding me? What the hell did I do to myself? Oh crap. Well, boys, I guess we're on a grind now. All right, number one, playing Rage with your friends. As day one starts, the challenge begins. And to anyone who has never seen this game before, the controls are actually relatively simple. You jump automatically, but you can jump higher by holding space. And you use the A and D keys to tilt the little man to either the left or the right. And if you fuck, if you successfully land a 360 flip, you get a boosted jump. I've done I've done the beginning slightly once before, where I I, I think I got past trees, I got all the way up to grapes, and I got stuck at uh, I got stuck at the giant tree, and I gave up after that, and I never uh, came back to this game again because I hated it. We were there. We were there, we were there, we, we made it. All right, we got the 20%, we got the 20%. The game is scared, right? Cause, cause come on, after this, what else do we got? Another 80, right? We gotta do that five times. Is that gonna take us an hour? All right, up, up, up. And we're over, baby! Let's go! We made it to grapes! 30 minutes in, and we've hit grapes, which is really good, considering the fact that it took me two hours the first time. And now getting to grapes is one thing, but beating it is another. And grapes is relatively simple, and you'll get the hang of it eventually, right? With how much time you'll be spending here, because trust me, it's gonna be a lot. You no, know, I might be able to speedrun this game one day. At, at the rate I'm learning, because look, it's not, it's not about the fact that, oh, I, I, I can't beat it immediately, right? It's how, how quickly can I make mistakes and then learn from those mistakes to move forward in the game? Easy. Ah, uh, yeah! Same one I was trying to smash. Look at how my dick the whole time. Bro, what the fuck? Is this shit a joke? You stealing my dick? Hey, taking my hoe? I'm sorry that you ain't been hitting it right. 
is the reason that shoes be blowing my phone. Bitch, are you stupid? They ain't even true, and my dick is not something. Save, baby. You don't even know me, and honestly, right now you sound hella gay. Now we're fighting, then we arguing like. Let's go, baby. Forty percent. And what's what's it been? What's it been? Two hours. Yup, been two hours. But we're in Maple, right? The first real challenge of the game. The goal is to bounce on tree branches over to some mushrooms to reach the next part of the map. Easier said than done. This is where I previously quit my run eight hours in, but I wasn't alone. After researching this a bit, only eight percent of the players who've played this game have actually passed this point. Well, I was part of the other ninety-two percent, but I was determined. The All right, done vibing for now. We got to get back to work. It's okay. Fuck! All right. Wait a minute. Hey, Fire, what's up? You made it to me. This is Fire, a Pokestop connoisseur and a speedrunner for the game. He's literally gotten every achievement the game has to offer and decided to come help me on my journey. And before any of you say that this is cheating, it's like having Usain Bolt run track with you. He can't help you, but he can kind of just watch him do better than you, you know, motivation. For the most part, he was just kind of using me as entertainment while he was trying to get better runs while I was kind of, uh... No, 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 no! Fuck! Save it, save it, save it, save, save it, go! Ah! That's fine, it's fine, we did it once, we can do it again. You make it, then you die, then you make it, then you die, whatever. I, I, I doubt that's gonna be the first time we fall from there. Come on, come on. All right, all right, all right, wait, wait, we're making progress. Wait, wait, we're making progress right here. We're making progress. I was right. We were making progress. However, I fucked up really badly, but after a quick fit change and another hour of grinding, we were back. <laughs> we're making progress. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely, slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Background rendering. Oh. What is this? I can see everything. I can see. I, I can actually see now. I see how the game's supposed to work. It was so simple all along. Uh, all right. This is how I'm gonna do this because what he showed me was something really cool that I could do this. Yeah! Green screen, motherfucker! Yeah, let's wait, wait, wait. Let's turn this up. Yeah, I can make the background whatever I want it to be. If I wanted it, we can we can we can watch a video. What? Who here wants to watch Master Chef behind Pogo Stuck? Yeah, that's copyrighted material, and I'm not really looking forward to fighting the YouTube algorithm, so I'm not gonna. For the most part, we basically just watched MasterChef and Kitchen Nightmares, and I didn't really make any progress. I was just kind of captivated by Gordon yelling at people with his British accent. After that, I decided to basically call it a night, rest up, and start again on another day. So that was the end of day one. Good morning! Oh my god. I kind of forgot how to do- I forgot how to do this jump. Don't- don't bully me. Are you fucking- Are you kidding me?! Listen to me. I just want to get past this part once. Alright? Let me get past the fucking snail shells. But to pass the snail shells, I gotta pass you. You're fucking with me. Oh yeah, 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 you're having fun, huh? Seeing me suffer? Run it back! Nice clearance jump onto the second mushroom. Half flip. Over to the edge, backflip, forward flip, jump up, gain height. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Stay calm, stay calm. Stay calm, we save ourselves. 
What the fuck is oh Look, it seems like we're having something that the world calls a bad day. Anyways, someone asked me if I preferred getting over it or Pogo Stuck, and honestly, I just sat there and I couldn't really think of an answer because both of them were just really good games, but Pogo Stuck was just so new and had so many mechanics. Getting over it any day. Any day of the week. I beat that shit in what, eight hours tops? Only eight hours, I think, was the run from my getting over it. And how, how, how deep am I into this shit? I could do getting over it right now and like... 10 minutes tops. Look, sure, I probably could have beat Getting Over. It wasn't a really hard game, and I probably had the time to spare, but literally this was on the line. My hair was on the line. I didn't have time for these games. I remember this game. For the most part, it's 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 a pretty simple. Because it's like one of those games that I spent so much time on that... Was this tree always here? This, I think, was also another annoying part. But nonetheless, a challenge that I can do right here and... I'm running out of mouse space. I'm running out of mouse space. Look at that. Look at the skip. I still have it in me. E. I didn't even know I could fucking hit that. Oh, but now we are. You having fun? You having fun bouncing there, buddy? All right, we're making it back up, slowly but surely. Come back here. All right. Let's go! Fuck! All right, just follow the guy. That's not too difficult. We did it! We're in Ladybug Land, baby! I've seen it, never been here before. Ah! Yo, Optimal, thanks for the follow. Fuck! I wasn't paying attention, we're back here! No! I heard the sound and I was like, yeah, you person! Welcome! No! No! Alright, that's not too bad, but in retrospect, it, it could be worse. It could be so much worse. Like, like this? Like this, for example? Well, we're back here again. And it lines us up. And we miss. Excuse me. Oh, no shot. No shot. No fucking shot. We had two days left before the end of the challenge. That means I had to literally suck it up because it was all it was all or nothing. I, I just had to put in the hours. At this point, I was frustrated, but I didn't really have a choice. It was either beat the game or shave my head and time was running out. All right, this is another side, side to side jump. What up? Woo! We did that jump for the first time. Let's go. Oh no, there's no shot. I actually, mm. All right, that's fine. You, 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 you win some, you lose some, you win some, you lose some. My dumb ass just can't win. Oh, my neck feels so stiff right now. It's beyond stiff. No! You've got to be kidding me! Oh my God! We're good, we're good, we're good. The day's still young. I remember when I was a wee little boy stuck on pineapples. That wee little boy is now a man. Oh my God, the speed. The speed of my head realizing that I missed that shot and then fixing my trajectory. Oh my god, I'm broken. Just 
So I know what's coming after this and the way that they do it is so weird because they, they they jump, bump their heads and it, I, I'll, here, here, this is this how, this how they do it. This is how they do it. <laughs> no! If I can beat it today, I no longer have to worry about the stupid game. I can go and relax, have fun tomorrow. We have spent 26 hours in the game. 26 hours. Hopefully we can keep this under 30 because I'm pretty sure I'm passing already the average completion time for this game. But that's the goal for today, boys. That's what we are starting. And we plan to finish it today. Hopefully. By Christ all means, if I don't finish this thing today. Come on. We got this. We got this. No! No! Now to do this the way all the pros do it. Let's go! Let's fucking go! Let's go! We're here! We are literally here. We beat this right now! And we'll be done! We'll be done right now! Oh, my fucking god! Oh, I don't I don't actually have to shave my head. We can do the jump! One more jump! We got one more! Wait! Wait, wait, that's literally one more jump! Holy shit! Is the jump hard? Of course it's fucking hard! It's the last jump of the game! It's a leap of faith. We either do it now or we don't. It's as simple as that. No! Fuck! Wait, 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 wait. Fuck! I choked it. I, ch I, I, I choked it really. We didn't even get close. Holy shit, I missed it completely. Here, here's, here, just give me like another couple minutes. We'll be back there. Let's go! Woo! Get it now, get it the second try, get it over with, keep my hair. That sounds like a really good opportunity, a really good option. I'm gonna jump it from here, actually. I'm gonna jump arc. Let's go! Fuck yeah! Let's go! I'm done! Not yet! Not yet! No! <sighs> you did it. I didn't think I would! Let's go! We did it, cocksuckers! We beat the game! And I don't have to shave my head anymore! Woo! I didn't think I'd do it. I honestly, I didn't think that I would get through it. There was so much stress going through my mind about everything that was going on. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you, you wanted to see me shave my head? Better luck next time, bozo. Ha-ha!